Good afternoon, everyone. We're going to be talking about a pigeon's oil glands. But before we get into that, I want to congratulate T. Huff. He has won two races. I don't know how he made out in his third race. He told me the birds went off a little bit. And he wasn't going to ship them all, but apparently he has one real good pigeon there. It won two races for him. He said he would ship that one. I'm hoping to hear back from him. I'm hoping that the pigeon did well and won again. Okay, let's talk about the oil glands. It's a gland on the back of a bird. You normally see it, especially right after a bath. The bird will reach back. He squeezes that little gland and it puts a coating of oil on his beak. And then he takes it and he spreads it over his feathers. It actually helps waterproof the bird. I don't know what oil is in it. But I've also noticed when pigeons are mating, it might have something to do with a hormone or something, because I do see them reach around and do that too. They keen that oil gland. What's interesting about the oil gland is not all pigeons have it. Oriental rollers don't. The Maltese don't. There's another breed. Let me let me look. I wrote it down. Uh, and fantails don't have an oil gland. It's interesting. Studies on it have shown that it's an hereditary thing. Some birds have it and some birds don't. I believe our racing pigeons, for the most part, got it. I certainly would want to be breeding birds with an oil gland, waterproof their feathers, humidity, rain. Would help them come home. Well, really a short video. Just uh, pay attention to your birds when they're mating or after they bath. You'll see them reach around, squeeze that little oil gland, coat their beak a little bit, and then coat their feathers. Okay. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. Check the channel. A lot of good stuff on there. And subscribe. And thank you for watching.